morning, everybody. Today, my goal is to get back into a healthy routine. I've been using the hecticness and the busyness of moving as an excuse as to why I haven't like gotten back in my healthy routine. While moving is a lot, what's worse is feeling like crap every single day. And that's exactly how I've been feeling for the past like month and a half, two months. I did start working out again like two weeks ago, but I've been slacking on everything else. I would say the only consistently healthy part of my day is that I wake up super early. But that's not because I'm trying, that's just because my body wakes up early. I usually end up wasting the first couple hours that I'm awake anyways. I have times where I'm really on my game and I'll wake up, read my book, whatever book I'm reading, journal a little bit, then get up and get going. Since I moved in here, I've been waking up and going on my phone. And then I wonder why I feel disgusting all day every day. I'm not moving my body enough, I'm not fueling my body with the right things, and I have no energy because I just lay around. Like I shouldn't be tired right now, but because of all the crap that I've been putting in my body, I feel like butthole. Let's not even mention the fact that I probably have only drank like 60 ounces of water in the past like three days. I was in a really good routine right before I moved. It's just about getting back into that and not making excuses for ourselves every day. I had lost some weight before I moved just from being like super depressed. I've been eating good so I probably have gained that back. I mean I'm sure I have a scale somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'm not about to go searching for it. We're just gonna do some stuff today that will hopefully make me feel better. Probably not today but maybe Maybe tomorrow or the next day. I saw this TikTok yesterday and it was this girl talking about how you build the path to your dreams like brick by brick. Just do something small every single day which is kind of what I've been saying with being 1% better every single day. Honestly my dream would be to not struggle with binge eating. I love working out. It's just so hard because my body doesn't do what I want it to do. It doesn't do what it used to do when I was in high school and I was 75 pounds lighter. I just would love to be healthy and to be able to enjoy outdoor activities without getting stressed out. I want to be able to go to amusement parks and not have to worry about if I'm going to fit in the seat or not. That would be my dream. That kind of stuff gives me so much anxiety. I think I've gotten myself in a much better place the past year. Anytime I have a stressful life event, like moving, I just have such a hard time getting back into my routine and my binging gets so bad. So I always have coped. As a kid, the only thing I could really control was my food. This is so embarrassing. I probably shouldn't tell the internet this, but I was a kid. When I was like in third and fourth grade, I would take the food out of our pantry and put it underneath my bed. I would hoard it underneath my bed because for some reason I just felt like I didn't have any control in my life. As a kid, you don't really have control over the food. Like you're not the one going grocery shopping, but I could take that and put it under my bed for whenever I needed it. That's honestly the first time I can remember having a bad relationship with food. We are digging through years of trauma over here. Yesterday was not a great day. Felt really not even sad. I knew I had so much to do, but I couldn't get myself to do any of it. I still feel that way today, but we're gonna get up and we're gonna do it anyway. <sighs> Small changes lead to healthy habits. My toothbrush just died. water bottle out of the box. I put away a lot of the downstairs boxes, but I still feel like some boxes are missing. It's weird. I drink the most water when it's out of water bottles that have these little tops or just straws in general. I don't care what I have to do. I'm gonna drink 120 ounces of water. I feel like one of the things making me feel the worst recently is the lack of water. So today we're gonna change that. One of the best parts about having a dog is it forces you to go on walks. I haven't been on a walk here yet. I don't know, a new neighborhood. I'm a little nervous, but he deserves to go on a walk. I've been taking him to the dog park, but I haven't been taking him on walks. Movement wise, these are my goals for today. I'm gonna go for a walk with Duncan. I am going to stretch. I've been a little tight. And I'm actually gonna go to the gym and have like a proper strength training workout. Strength training is probably the workouts I enjoy the most just because I hate cardio. Do I look like I like to run? No. I've been working out for about two weeks now. I think I posted a video when I first went to the gym again. And I've been really enjoying it actually. I've been using an app called Copilot and they are actually sponsoring today's video. I heard of Copilot first through Andrew. He worked with them a while back. Andrew's my friend, so I got to see him use this app. He spoke so highly of this app. I'm like, okay, let me give it a try and see what it's all about. Copilot is an app you guys can get on your phones. Essentially, it's like a personal trainer in your pocket. There 
there is something about having someone explain to you how to do something that is just so beneficial. Copilot isn't just an app. It's not just a personal trainer on your phone. It's literally the best fitness and health habit building app that I've ever used. I've been preaching to you guys for weeks now about building habits. Doing so in a way where you don't feel judged or you don't feel pushed to do too much. When I've had trainers in the past, it does sometimes feel like you dread going to the gym sometimes. It's so hard, it's not enjoyable, if that makes sense. Copilot really wants to create an atmosphere in which you like working out. It's a habit that's easy for you guys to form. You don't feel judged by your coach. They're the first fitness company to actually not focus on weight, which we love. Weight for me can be very triggering to my eating disorder. I think health in itself is a lot more than just how much you weigh. They're not looking for you to be their before and after photo success that they can use to profit off of it. They really care about you. My trainer's name is Grace and she has been so freaking sweet. I'll show you guys more on how that works later when I actually go to the gym and I'll show you guys like the app and stuff. She is so sweet. She checks in on me after every workout. Life's been a lot recently and she'll just like message me and check in on me. You can video call them if you need to. I love that it shows me how to do the exercises because a part of the reason I have gym anxiety is because I feel like I'm gonna be going into the gym and doing the exercises wrong and then I'm gonna look stupid and someone's gonna videotape me and I'm gonna end up on gym fails on TikTok. I think it is such a good tool for people that are looking to get into working out. There have been days where I message her and I'm like, hey, I really just need an at-home workout today. Like, I don't think I can get to the gym. She puts together an at-home workout for me to do. And I know a lot of you guys probably can't get to the gym. Maybe you do need an at-home workout program. Maybe you do need someone to help you remember to drink your water or go to bed by a certain time. Those are two of the goals that I've been working on with her. I think that spending time on yourself and putting effort into yourself is so important. You will never regret a workout. You will regret not working out but you're never gonna regret doing it. Copilot makes it so easy. Your trainer will adapt to whatever you need, whether you're looking to lose fat, gain muscle, build endurance, whether you can get to a gym or you can't get to a gym, they can adapt with you. I'm so excited that I get to share this with you guys because I know so many of you guys come to watch my videos for workout advice or workout tips. And honestly, I'm not a trainer. I don't always have the best advice, but I can provide you guys with a platform that does have great advice, has good people, behind the screen. I love what they stand for. I love that they do not care about your weight or the scale. They don't push you to lose 50 pounds in three weeks. They're very realistic. They care about you and how you feel, you loving your life again. And they're actually offering you guys 14 days for free with your own personal fitness and health coach. All you have to do is click the link in my description box. That's 14 days. You can talk to someone, get some workouts in. If you don't like it, you don't have to continue doing it. There's really no excuse. It's two free weeks for you to just show up for yourself, get some good advice from somebody. I genuinely think you're gonna love it. It is so helpful. I just wanted to talk to you guys about that before we get going. Now we're gonna go for a walk. We just made it to the park. This is the dog park, but I think they have walking trails because I need a little exercise. And then Duncan can get a little exercise. Let's go for a walk. Staring out the window. It is actually a beautiful day outside, but I'm realizing if it keeps getting hotter, it'll probably be too hot for my sweatshirt. All I'm wearing is a bra, so I don't know what I'll do. Be right back in my arms. Dancing to the limbo I guess you could say this is my hot girl walk I actually haven't been on a hot girl walk before Does it count if you have your dog? Simple but I could paint A thousand different pictures of what is wrong But if we turn the clocks back A couple dials We should throw them out Because time ain't as well But you feel I walked down to this most beautiful little like pond that was just filled with turtles. The walk down there was a breeze. That's because it was downhill the whole time. So to come all the way back, I had to walk uphill the entire time. I wasn't planning to be like out of breath or tired or sweaty, but here we are. I'm all of the above. On the way here, I drove past this acai bowl truck, like a smoothie bowl truck. And we all know how I feel about smoothie bowls. If I die young, bury me in smoothie bowls. Bury me in smoothie bowls and Caesar salad. 
It's my two favorite things right now. I haven't found a good smoothie bowl place here yet. I haven't even really tried any, I don't think. So if it's still there, I'm gonna get a smoothie bowl. We moved our body, we moved Duncan's body, and now we're gonna go fuel our body. I got the shore bowl, and instead of kiwi, I got strawberries because I love strawberries. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think I'll give it like an eight and a half or a nine. I'll be back. Two thumbs up. I gotta start eating more stuff like this again. Biscuits do not make me feel as good as this acai bowl does. And that's just a personal preference. I just went to the grocery store. I told you guys I had to go. I wore these headphones to give off don't fuck with me or don't mess with me, don't talk to me, don't look at me funny, leave me alone vibes. I'm happy to report that it worked. $314. This is why I don't go grocery shopping. You know how easy it is to spend $300 on DoorDash? Very easy. All the girlies look so cute with these little headphones on. I don't. Didn't film in there because it was absolutely terrifying. The amount of people grocery shopping right now. I already was drawing enough attention because I'm in slippers, white sweatpants that I probably have had something secrete through. But I need to go home, unpack these groceries, and then we're gonna do a little workout. Look at all this. This is so much food. A surprising amount of you actually say you enjoy seeing my groceries I get. We're gonna go through it super fast. I'm trying to limit red meat. I don't know why, but red meat I've learned makes me feel weird. Instead, I got ground turkey breast, 99% fat free. You're never gonna believe me when I show you this. I got matcha. Pipe down, everyone. I know that I have hated on matcha more than I've hated on anything. I see people adding like vanilla and strawberries and people swear by it. There has to be a way to make this taste good. So I just got the Lipton one. I'm fresh out of Pam. So I got the avocado oil Pam. I also got coconut oil Pam. I could not figure out the difference and I was getting overwhelmed. So I just bought both of them. I got these coffee beans. I don't think they're meant to be used as espresso, I'm gonna be honest with you. But whatever, it's the only ones that they had that didn't have flavors of nuts in it because I learned the reason I wasn't enjoying coffee anymore was because it tasted like prosmia, but it only tasted like prosmia because the notes in the coffee or whatever it's called were nuts and I can't have any type of nuts. That's what she said. Got some blackberries. I've seen so many people talk about these. They're the loaded Oikos yogurts. So I got a cherry one, a plain one, because I like to use it to make ranch dressing. Three little baby bananas. I did not know this was a thing because I'm new to the avocado world. They have medium avocados, which is perfect for me because I don't use a whole avocado. I didn't get toast. So now I have three smaller avocados where I can use the entire avocado and not have to waste half of it. Broccoli, reduced fat sharp cheddar cheese. I don't know why I bought this, but it's like slices of extra sharp white cheddar cheese. I think it just crept in the cart. I got three or four of these little snack medleys. It just has white cheddar cheese and pretzels. Nut Pods Oat Creamer. I have high hopes for this. It's in cinnamon swirl. Got some oat milk. I prefer oat milk over almond milk. I know almond milk has less calories and stuff. We like oat milk. Some butter. Monk Fruit Extract Drops. And I got it in vanilla and I got it in regular. I like to put these drops in my overnight oats. Kia Bonnie Flip and Cookie Dough. Strawberries. I got some sushi. I got this cranberry juice. It's actually cran cherry juice. I don't know. I got the diet version because I'm a sucker for juice and I'll like drink a whole bottle of juice and then I'll be like, oh, I didn't realize that that was bad for you. I've been on the hunt for like a healthy drink substitute to soda because right now I just drink Sprite. There's a lot of wasted things and like bad things like sugars and calories and ugh. why am I gonna drink my calories when I can stuff my face with them. You know what I mean? I've had these before in different flavors and they had a lemon lime one and there was a girl there. She was grabbing all the lemon lime ones. I'm like, is that one good? Like, does it taste like Sprite? She's like, it does taste really good, but take a little bit of like cranberry juice and mix it in and it's so good. And I was like, that sounds fabulous. I'm gonna try it. I got two of the lemon lime ones and if I like them, I'll go back and get more. But then I also got a cherry limeade, just a regular lemonade one. Carrots. A lot of this is very basic. Ooh, I got this chicken breakfast sausage in the apple maple flavor. Some rice. So excited for this. Corn on the cob. I'm not having red meat, so I just got chicken. A bag of kale because I got two of these Caesar salad kits and I figured I could mix some kale in there, girth them up a bit because Caesar salad is my everything recently. I also got a s'more Chia Bonnie flip and a key lime crumble one. This is not relevant and literally none of you guys are gonna care about this, but I have been looking for this cinnamon toothpaste. 
ever since you guys told me about it in like November, December, I don't really remember, but I have parosmia and mint tastes bad, and so brushing my teeth is miserable. They have cinnamon toothpaste. I mean, it's probably not gonna be great, but it's gotta be better than what I've been using. My favorite shaving cream, EOS Shea Moisture 24 Hour Shaving Cream. A loofah, because yes, I'm a loofah person. I don't care what your opinion is. Makeup removing wipes, the absolute best razor that exists. Nighty Night Tea. I really wanna get past my hatred for tea. We have a California roll and a vegetable roll. I also know people find grocery store sushi really like freaky, but it's just crab and vegetables. It's not like it's raw fish. These were the girthiest grapes I've ever seen. Celery for the ranch. I can't live without Parmesan cheese in my house and not like the grated stuff in the little bottle. The good fresh Parmesan cheese. Cholula because Cholula makes everything taste better. A jar of pickles, also a very good snack. And a singular potato. I'm actually really excited to organize my fridge because it's looking pretty sad right now. Two hours later. Oh, you can see it in the back. Look in the mirror. Look how cute the back of this tank top is. Both my tank top and my leggings are from Buff Bunny. I'm obsessed with the print of these. I don't know how I would describe this print. I'll link these leggings and this tank top down below. I don't even have a bra on. I have a little announcement. I actually have an affiliate code with Buff Bunny. I've been trying out so many different athleisure, athletic wear brands. Buff Bunny is one that I didn't see coming. I knew it existed. When I ordered stuff from them, I didn't really expect that much, which might sound bad, but my hopes weren't that high. Not that many companies make like extended sizing. This is exciting. I have never done this before, but I'm actually an athlete with them now. I have a code you guys can use if you guys ever want to shop from them. It supports me. I'm gonna be very upfront about that. I do get like a commission if you guys use that link. If I was not so confident in this brand, I wouldn't have done it. I've never done it before. Working out is so much more enjoyable if you look cute, and I know a lot of companies don't even bat an eye at bigger girls because it's not the aesthetic that they're going for. The fact that Heidi and her team are so sweet that they just included me. The Copilot app hooks up to your Apple Watch. I have to get on this treadmill because I have to walk for 10 minutes. If you don't have an Apple Watch, it's fine. You can just press phone only workout on the phone. It'll have the exercise come up on the screen. It'll show you how to do it. And it shows you what's next and what's coming. And then your trainer will actually like talk to you and tell you like, slow down, speed up. I'm ready for bed. I'm finishing editing this video, but I just wanna make a point very, very clear. Something I love about Copilot is you don't need to have a gym. Your trainer can give you at-home workouts, so if you don't have equipment, if you don't have a gym, if you literally just have your living room floor, that is totally fine. They can make that work for you. I know so many of us just don't have access to a gym, and a lot of you probably just don't have time to go all the way to a gym because you have very busy lives. I just wanna make that clear. Like I said, there really isn't an excuse for you not to do this. Click the link in the description box 
works, you're gonna get 14 days free of Copilot. You're gonna get a trainer for 14 days, literally no obligation. Take those two weeks, get back on your shit. If you don't like it, you do not have to continue doing it. Let me tell you, it has given me a form of accountability without it being very overwhelming and stressful. Like genuinely, we love Copilot around here. Thank you guys for watching this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.